But could the fats we eat be the complete answer to lowering our blood sugar levels and even helping with weight loss? Or are the past 1980s teaching of the fat-free diet coming back to haunt your dreams? So hold up before hitting the supermarket and your opinion, watch this video. So my name is Shelly. I work as a dietitian. Many of us realize that the fat-free diet craze is kind of a joke by now. I had to learn it the hard way. It kind of needs to be let go like Elsa. But to see how I learned it the hard way, go ahead and learn a little bit more about me. But I want to dig in to what you're here for, and that is fat. Now, research has found that healthy fats have a great effect on our blood sugar levels. They do have a bad rap. I mean, because for years we just kind of beat them up. It's kind of like a bad boyfriend. Um, fats are essential for nutrient absorption, regulating inflammation, and even balancing blood sugar levels. And we're finding that eating a diet with fat can help with weight loss. But with the good comes the bad. So I want to quickly review the fats that I definitely want you to still avoid no matter what. The same, you can have it all your way. Number one is margarine. Now margarine is a trans fat. Margarine was really popular in the 80s and 90s. And while trans fats don't directly raise blood sugar levels, like you're not going to get margarine and then your blood sugar is going to be 200. It's been linked to increased inflammation, insulin resistance, and belly fat, as well as lowering our good cholesterol, which we don't want at all. I want to transition over to avoiding something else, which is regular mayo and salad dressing. So margarine is not the only trans fat. I think that's what we think. We're like, oh, I cut out margarine. Then we dig into your condiments. We need to look at the label on all of our condiments and particularly the ingredients and that's a mayo and salad dressing and avoid hydrogenated or trans fats. Food companies are so sneaky. They're not there to take for take care of you. Look at the ingredients as well as the numbers. Now, I'm going to tell you some great choices in a minute which contain the healthy fats, but the final thing we want to talk about is soybean oil. So remember, we have trans fats, soybean oil, avoid those on the label. Instead, I want you to consume avocados. Great healthy fat. Avocados have less than one gram of sugar. Great source of fiber. Healthy fats, we don't have to worry about these raising our blood sugar levels or causing spike. In fact, they're going to keep us very, very full. One thing to note about avocados is you do buy them in the produce section, you could just cut them in half, but really they have properties specific to preventing diabetes. A 2019 study in mice, okay, I know we're not mice, you gotta start somewhere, found that a molecule in avocados only inhibits incomplete oxidation of skeletal muscle and the pancreas, which reduces insulin resistance. It's a lot of big words, just know it helps to reduce insulin resistance. When I switched my diet plan over and I was fat free, I bought an avocado, it was a little tough. I'm like, what do I do with these? So I personally add an avocado to my breakfast meal. I cut it in half, I drizzle a little olive oil, some Redmond Real salt, it is absolutely amazing. Sometimes I add one or two scoops of tuna to it, it just depends on how I feel. This is a great transition to now talk about avocado oil. Okay, so we went from avocados to avocado oil. Avocado can of oil can boost weight loss. It's because the healthy fats present in the oil promote satiety. Satiety is the feeling of fullness. So we're not just gonna be reaching for pretzels, we're gonna be reaching for avocado oil. What I like to use avocado oil in is the air fryer. Avocado oil has a high smoke point, air fryer is a high temperature. Both work hand in hand together. Also, if you have something like a Ninja Grill, that is also great to use avocado oil in that. You could buy it in the spray form, you could put it in your own little container and use it. It is wonderful. You can continue after this video to watch um, my favorite oils in the air fryer and you'll see how avocado oil works in there. So earlier I talked about how we wanna avoid trans fats and look at the label and avoid hydrogenated oils. We wanna remember that they usually, the good products we're seeing are replaced with avocado oil. So some great lines that do that, that have mayo and salad dressing is Primal Kitchen, Kevin's, and chosen foods. So those are the ones you want to look for in your supermarket. The final one is extra virgin olive oil. So an Italian study found that uh, extra virgin olive oil reduces the glycemic effect on meals. And the glycemic index, again, we talked about this time and time again in here, is the measure of a food's effect on blood sugar levels. So what they did was they did this study. It was really easy. These folks just had a meal and they added 
extra virgin olive oil to it. And they found that it lowered the, the glycemic effect, which is great. So it helped reduce the body's glycemic response. So really this means that the extra virgin olive oil can buffer the dangerous spikes in our blood sugar when it's added to our meals. And then extra virgin olive oil helps with long-term blood sugar control as well. 2017 meta-analysis found that people consuming the most olive oil had on average a 16% reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes, as well as significant reductions in their fasting blood sugar levels. Then the ringer, olive oil can help us lose weight. In a recent study, women with excess body fat who added 1.5 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to their breakfast experienced significant greater weight loss and reduction in blood pressure than women cons who consumed soybean oil. Remember I said to avoid that soybean oil earlier? This is why. So when I switched my diet over, how did I get extra virgin olive oil in? I started just by adding a teaspoon on top of my salads and on my vegetables. I'm up to a tablespoon now. It takes a little getting used to, so I encourage small little baby steps. And you can continue watching one of my favorite fat burning salads using olive oil by clicking on this video right here. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks, gang.